of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. 31 year old Danielle Trudell is accused of battling with a cop. We could hear some sirens going close by, which isn't unusual for here. But then we heard another siren, and then almost immediately a pop. And we all in the office said, that's a gunshot. Unlawfully taking a law enforcement officer's firearm. That gunshot was from the deputy's gun. Trudell is accused of reaching around the deputy as he tried to keep her from driving off since she appeared to be out of it, grabbing the deputy's gun and squeezing the trigger while it was still in its holster. In the report, Deputy Cummings said he heard his firearm discharge and felt the percussion and the heat on his right leg from the round firing. He said he was in fear for his life. The people in the nearby office building rushed outside and saw the fracas. And they had the suspect on the ground over there, two or three guys on top of her. He snapped these photos of the aftermath, the silver SUV and all the deputies. Thankfully, the bullet hit the ground and nobody in the small parking lot. We are extremely grateful and fortunate the deputy wasn't injured. The position that he was in in that particular moment, he was leaning forward. So that allowed the, the bullet then to travel behind him and not down or into his leg. They say the deputy was simply trying to help someone who seemed out of it. And deputies say they found fentanyl and drug paraphernalia in Trudell's SUV. Trudell's being held in the Seminole County Jail without bond. And the sheriff's office says it doesn't believe the deputy did anything wrong in this case, that he was simply trying to help this woman. He thought that she was in some sort of peril and that when she tried to drive off, he certainly didn't want her out on the central Florida roadways. Reporting live in Longwood, Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.